fight. But the other heroes, I'm a little worried about their survivability. On the, on the flip side, though, Winter Wyvern's Winter's Curse is just really good. Dra drawing, drawing, oh, yeah. and her teammates can just... For our tour to at least draw even so far, CS yeah, pretty close. Right now, this throw, not really going to get contested too much. The Doom is now going to make his way up here, but it's hard to open up on this, especially when you don't know where the Earthshaker is guaranteed in mid lane. Just like that, Old Chicken, he moves forward with the Fear Type and the three man game with the Sun Strike. He's going to be able to land, and Old Chicken tries to juke his way through the river, but it's not going to happen. Our tour, he gets the first blood. With his performance in general, because it just felt like he wasn't playing a part of the team, but this time, setting up for the first blood, making that rotation. I think it's safe to say it was probably one of the worst games that Universe has ever played in his entire career, so yeah, being disappointed is putting it mildly actually, so for, for Secret to come out gun placing in this one is, is important also for him I think. Having the debut debut on, on, on this star started roster. The rotation to Secret so on point, the Sunstrike blows up the Bat Rider. The nature's call when it comes to dealing with supports, but it doesn't even look like they're focusing too much on the sling, which... Smoke across, the tour gonna be ganked up by Ice 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 and Ben Rear, there's no way out for him here. Drops the sun strike at the last second, but it's not even close to landing in E-Home. They split ways. Ice 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 heading deeper into the jungle. It's actually going to get a ward behind the tier 1 tower for potentially more dives in the future. I think part of that was set up too, just because the bottom lane was pushed in and the nature's probably oh, 11. Away. You had to be careful against the Drill Ranger. Those frost arrows. Not letting loose with that exorcism, and it may not be that Secret can get anything in return. With the exorcism already set up, I doubt they can rotate. Maybe they can get old Levin, though. Go for the tier one after that. Yeah, there it is. The Fear Node comes in once again. Universe displaying his glow different from Team Secret. And on the way, too, they pick up the kill onto the Batrider. And it, you, you gotta ask yourself, is that a, a, a question of play by it? No, bottom. He's being stunned up. There's so much damage with this Drill Ranger. He gets it safe for the Winter Wyvern, but it doesn't matter. The pure damage from the Sun Strike. Cuts right through. Wasn't actually helping him out, but now he's gonna come in. The tower is taken by the Dire, but Artur... Oh, he's actually gonna be able to get away. The Ice Wall plays down the turnaround. They've got the intel on old 11. He can't go anywhere. He's so damn slow. And Artur... Gets the bolt, the best world, and now Secret getting even more. Now Fenrir's gonna go down as well. Secret! Yeah, so, where did Ehome go from here then, Jacob? I mean, right now they need to wait for the item timing. They, they desperately need to blink back off on the bad rider so they can blink in. Bottom, don't tell me he's gonna run into that sun strike. Still sprouted up. He has no way out. Time and time again, secret outnumbering. But the angle for this even just feels a little bit off. I mean, the fact that Pilot Die is able to threaten the Death Prophet solo thanks to the global presence of the Sun Strike. They're actually going to be able to come in. Finger Death goes out. They do have to pull the brace, though. Puppy thinking about running in, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks. Fenrir puts a stop to that one, but still, Artur is able to claim that kill. Now the Angle Slam goes out. It's a bit of damage. Over to the top of the 11. Artur takes the last hit and moves on to Lana. Another stun comes through, and another kill for Secret. And even at the end, they're the one going down. And it's not just that, right? They have two towers down. The score is 12 to 2, and they're getting this 11 minute roll down. It's a complete demolishing. Of and every single time Lonham shows his face, pushes a little bit too far forward, trying to stop Secret. It can feel the combo of this magic damage. Now he's going to be stunned up. The Cold Embrace is only buying him a little bit of time. Puppy starts charging forward, but a really good silence is laid out from Old Chicken. But still, the Finger of Death cuts through the Bristleback once again and secretly to pick off a hero so that they can go high ground. But it looks like Ehome kind of understand what's going on here. Oh, the finisher lands. The beautiful setup from Secret. Oh, oh, oh. The combination of abilities just allows for them to be able to kill Ice Ice. Universe picking up or going for a Aghanim Scepter on the Nature's Prophet. That combined with the Draw Aura is just gonna keep the green waves constantly flowing into the... Then we are caught. To the Radiant it's, e it's not even a question. It's not even a question at this point. Is Secret, find a hero. There's really no hope for an escape from anybody for E-Home. It's now Ice 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 gonna be the one spotted out. Fisher leads the way. The physical damage has no problem. They're playing such a control-heavy game at this point that Ehome aren't like just trying to run in secret and see, you know, what changes. You know, maybe because at this point we're just looking at that they're being the front door. I mean, they're just taking so much of the map right now that I don't think it matters. They're passively gaining a ton of gold at top. Look again, the combo. They can still get picked off. The sun strike is going to be up. It is. Oh man, our torch is so far ahead in levels that the damage is too much. Highlight die is going to be caught. That's the turnaround kill.
And you almost have to walk through the game and he hasn't completed his first item with his uh, mechanism. All 11, scouts out some of these things, goes through the chicken eight bombs, he's gonna start pulling back, eternal envy, but a three-man fisher, now the ball, a two-man impale, Highline is gonna be doomed up, but everything goes set up for Puppy to come in for the Echo Slam, Bottom's gonna be run down by Artur, the Viewer Zone comes in, with old 11 low enough that they can get that kill as well, and they're just planning to YP home if possible, there it is, a buyback for the Wyvern, but you can't stop Secret, and it'll end on a good old 3-2-2 for game number one between Secret and E-Home. That's some good old fan service by Evil, <laughs> letting you get to that point, calling it quits. First time I've seen two of the greater traits as well with that nature spot ultimate, but dominant performance in game. he actually topped plus 300 damage in that push. Gentlemen, what happened? I mean, this was game number one, but it was such a dominant game number one from Secret, who also, you know, actually got taken out in their first series. Did Secret step their game up? Oh, yeah, Evil still looking I'm, bad? What happened? They did step their game up, but also.